It might seem counterintuitive, but a computer game could not actually help children with Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or HDHD. And the game is called Kogoland and is developed by IMH, Duke NUS, and ASTAR, together with local tech startup Neuro. Now, it taps on brain-computer interface technology, which uses machine learning algorithms for personalized attention training. And here to tell us more about Kogoland and the technology behind it is Dr. Alvin Chan. He's CEO and co-founder of Neuro. Welcome, uh, Doctor. It's uh, good to have you here in the studios today. So for a start, why a computer game uh, to treat ADHD? Well, because children are naturally attracted to games. However, our games is actually designed to actually train attention. Um, we also have to be careful and mindful because we don't want children to be playing games too much, obviously. So our games actually are locked down. What they mean is that uh, they have a training program where they need to train for 20 minutes, three times a week for about 24 sessions. And that is kind of the protocol that we do to help children with ADHD. But again, using games is to attract them and motivate them to actually play. Okay, well, we had, we had a story uh, earlier this evening about how too much screen time can be detrimental to yes. young children, especially. Yeah. Uh, that was age five and below, and, and sort of saying that it could lead to sort of behavioral changes or, and sleep disorders and things mm. like that. Mm. Uh, just sort of put us in context as how this, I mean, this is a very different thing, isn't it? This is a very targeted, yes. very specific thing. Correct. So this is, this is targeted at children with ADHD. And again, it's designed for attention training. Unlike your other normal kind of games where you're playing, say, shooting, shooting someone, you know, that kind of usual games, this is specifically designed with training in mind. Mm. It's just been gamified to mm. look like a game, but the training procedure is following a certain protocol. Okay, and you've brought yeah. something in with you that, that yes. actually sort of demonstrates or can explain to us how it, it actually works. Yeah, so what this is, is actually a EEG device where we're actually picking up brain waves. So when you put it on, we're actually analyzing the brain waves in real time. And what that does is, with machine learning algorithms, we're able to tell that you're paying attention. Mm. We're able to tell if you're relaxed. So, uh, with reference to children with ADHD, we can tell if they're paying attention. Mm. So, tell us a little bit more about how it's different from other sort of brain training games, though. You mentioned a little bit about it just now, but specifically, I mean, I, mean, I know that you were saying that it's targeted, but in what way? Yeah, so, okay, how, how our brain training game works, right, Kogoland, the, the child actually has to focus mm. to actually activate certain elements in the game. In a Kogoland game, we actually have a little bird. If the child is not focused or paying attention, the little bird doesn't move. Mm. So mm. objectives for, say, level one of the game, he needs to focus. Then the little bird will actually run as far as possible, given a certain time period. So he's challenging himself to sustain his attention. If he doesn't pay attention or focus, the chicken stops or the little bird stops. Uh, of course, certain levels that we have in there, we make the, the child actually focus mm. and also start um, a, do, performing certain tasks. Right. And so we can see the game just sort of playing out on the screens uh, right yes. now. Uh, this is how it works then. So this is actually all powered. The movement of the chicken is powered by the concentration of the exactly. user. Exactly, yes. Okay, so the more, so you can't really, as soon as you stop, Concentrating, the game stops. Well, well, yes, the little, mm. the, the little bit there will stop. Oh. So here what you see is, is actually the gameplay here is actually getting the child to actually pick the right fruits. Yes. So apart from paying attention, he's also need to be selective, selective at what yeah. he's picking. Okay. And how does this training then relate back to real life and enhancing a person with ADHD's uh, quality of life in terms of you know what he's able to do to, with his tasks. Yeah, so actually this, this technology and the game clinical trials, randomized clinical trials have been done by actually IMH, Duke NUS and ASTAR. They did it for about 172 ADHD, ADHD children and it has shown very positive uh, improvements for these children. Um, again, the, the clinicians will do assessments before and after and that is also translated into their everyday behavior. Okay, well, thank you yeah. so much for coming in and putting all that into context thank for you. us. Dr. Alvin Chan, CEO and co-founder of Neuro, creator of Kogoland.